How's it going everybody? It's Pride here. Welcome back to another episode of Random Weapon Select. On to the number 40. We're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Thank you guys for the likes and everything on the previous episode. I really appreciate it. It helps out the videos a lot and uh, I've definitely seen an increase in popularity for this series for, uh, for the past couple months. So that's pretty awesome. I'm glad that it worked out well since it started it because not a lot of people watched it in the beginning. But either way, let's go ahead and just see what we get for our first number which is 40, and it looks like it's going to be the number 19. All right, 19. The S-Stock. You know what I did notice? We still have a bunch of heavy as shit weapons left, don't we? Okay, maybe uh, we can get rid of a few of those today. All I'm hoping, like imagine how perfect it would be if the very last weapon that I get is the Moonlight Greatsword. Like the very last thing, because it's a weapon that I just straight up can't use at all on this character, not even close. But either way, let's see how we do. Okay, this guy's... Ooh, it's Ornstein. He just went for it, huh? He just went for it. Might as well actually use this thing to block. Oh no, get away from him! Yes, that's fine. That's fine, as long as it's not a riposte. As long as it's not a riposte. There we are. Mr. X-Gen Paragon wanted some very fancy parries there. He wanted a very fancy win. Is it because I'm dressed all fancy? Because I feel like this is a pretty fancy coat. I don't really understand the, that type of playstyle. Like, it's it's fine to, to practice, you know. Practice parrying and stuff. But after you do, like, three or four in a row and you don't get it, you'd imagine you'd just be discouraged. But not those guys. And I mean, I guess that's uh, good on them. I would have probably given up after the first one. But finally, we can put away the s stock and see what we get next. Down to 39, and our next number is 15. It's just sticking right around the teens, huh? Let's see. 5, 10, 15. Okay, the Karthus Curve Sword. Pretty freaking sweet. Huh, this is going to be a good week. This is going to be a good week. I can already tell. Hey, is that a black cat? Oh, look, why are there mirror shards on the floor? Huh, that's kind of weird. Oh well, I hope that doesn't uh, have any bad omens. Same dude too. I feel like he might have an easier time with this weapon. <laughs> I guess not when that happens. All right, now we know that he's going for parries and he can't parry that weapon art. So I guess our a uh, good way to not have that happen like the first time around is to Try to hit him with mainly the uh, weapon art. There we are. Good game once again, Paragon. It is pretty late. I'm kind of cutting it close with this episode because it usually goes up Sunday afternoon. I'm recording this Sunday at 5 a.m. Only time that I've had to record all day, which kind of sucks. It kind of blows, you know, penis. But what are you going to do? I think we made up for it by uh, getting the Karthus Curve Sword, which... I think that's the first time that I've used that in weeks, months, something like that. It's not one that I use very often. Not because it's OP, just because it's kind of boring. And our next number will be 33. Uh-oh. Looks like we're out of the teens. Ah, okay. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is, game. You give me the, the bait and switch, right? You say, this is going to be an episode where you get Karthus Curve Swords and S-Docks. Two of the most bitched about weapons of all time. And now we get this. Unless I'm herding some fucking sheep, I don't want to use a whip. But I guess you got to do what you got to do. Oh, Christ, this is going to be bad, isn't it? It's also the spotted dick. I mean, the spotted whip. You guys know the food spotted dick? Never had it. I would love to taste the spotted dick. Oh, God. It's 5 a.m. You can't really blame me. Attacking, like, head-on is something I really don't want to do against a fucking... Black Knight Ultra Greatsword. Ow, and I did it head-on. Either way. I don't think I'm even going to get a hit on fucking Stormy Spyro. What is a weapon art about? Oh, okay. It's just a regular old whip weapon art. What? 
How? Can somebody tell me how that hit me? Because I'm starting to believe that God is on his side and that was him telling me. Just give up. Just give up. I got my boy in here. You ain't gonna win. Haha. -ha. Oh, come on, dude. I even hit after that. I'll take it. Yeah, because attacking head on is just a uh, very bad idea. Ah, they They were gonna go for multiple of them. God damn it, spotted whip. Couldn't poison them. This one might take a while. I usually say that and we immediately win, but I believe this one will actually take a while. I like how this thing is a dex weapon. <laughs> Has zero strength. I'm on mainly a strength based character with 45 strength and 20 dex. But then, <laughs> you also fucking have like only a C scaling in, in dex. So even if I had 99, I would have fucking nothing of damage. This guy might be a little bit laggy, dude. Like, he feels laggy to me. I think he's too aware for me to possibly win with this thing. That seemed a little bit laggy. Rolling attack is gonna be like your main thing for this shit. I don't think there any of these regular ones are gonna hit him. They're about as slow as his hits. Yay! Hit him right in his ponytailed head. I don't know why he keeps trying to kick me, dude. I'm at a buff. I'm far enough away, though, so I'm, I'm safe. Is he going to try to parry me? No, he switched to something else. I guess it's a little bit more like it. It's a little bit more his speed, he says. Fuck, that was close. No! Oh god, I'll take it. That's fine. That's fine there. Shit. You would never expect to run out of stamina with a fucking whip, huh? What's the running attack like? Alright, about as shit as the weapon itself. As long as we don't run out of time, I think we should be okay. Kill him, please! Oh! Come on! Just one more, that's all we need! Come on. Don't run out on me, match! That should be it. Nope, just kidding. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yay! We did it! And surprisingly, the exact same thing that I told you guys uh, wouldn't happen, which is when immediately after saying we might lose a lot, uh, happens and we win. I think I was being a little bit too pushy the first time around. I thought maybe being more rushy would, uh, be really good for this weapon because one of the main things you want to do is rolling attacks, but yeah, it didn't really work out with spotted whip. We can get rid of it. Holy shit. Oh, but we still got one whip to go. Why I have two whips here? I don't know. And our next number is, uh, two. Again. The number two, two weeks in a row, twice. Fuck you. Oh, you gotta be s Oh no, why this weapon? Okay, we did the whip, we can do this. If we did the whip, I think we can do this. So that's fine. Okay, handmade stacker, okay. Give me some kills and I won't break you in half. Oh, and surprising, it's not the uh, the Black Knight dude. Can I buff this thing? I can't even fucking buff it. All right, with any luck, we'll do fine because he's using a, a big bigger weapon. Hmm, seem a little laggy, or is that just me? Shit, I went to attack at the worst time. Poke. I'll stay back here, get one poke, and then be out. Doing 60 damage per hit. 60 fucking damage? What am I using? Seriously, a branch? 
Did I pick- Did I have a broken handmade stacker? And I just didn't notice? Oh my god, dude. Shit. Fuck it. No, oh, I thought I could just keep going. I thought maybe if he stayed, I would be able to cancel out his hyper armor. Before the next attack. Get a hit in. <laughs> oh my god. That makes your butthole tense up real quick. That was very close. Oh, I pressed fucking B. I don't think we're getting it here. I think we're, we've are we already done too bad to start things off, so... I don't see myself getting it here. But I think I can do it. Okay. You think a parry would be possible? Like, you'd imagine the guy with a big weapon would not be running away from the man with the little dagger. Right? Okay. I don't think he's gonna go for more of those rolling attacks. I'll kind of throw a knife at you here. I feel like we'd be having some better chances if he didn't run away so much. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, that's fine. If he wants to keep... Oh! I thought that... <laughs> I thought that I could just keep going. Nope. Oh man, at least he wasn't using the washing pole. I kind of half expected the washing pole as soon as I saw his armor. We're gonna get a next try. Okay, what do we got here? Gunder's halberd? Gunder's halberd. Oh, he's a ninja! He's a ninja! Ooh, close. Oh, come on. I thought I was out of range for that one. Shit. I was going for a backstab. Oh, man. That's not obvious or anything. Oh, crap. He wasn't even going for that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. He's a little bit more squishy, though, so that's good. Oh, come on. Hmm. <laughs> You wanna get near me now? You wanna get near me now? Oh, who's clapping? Who's clapping, but who's winning? I guess both of us. Does that count? I wanna count that because I don't wanna... I got a greatest combatant and it says you win. So I'm fucking counting it because I won. He was a bit more squishy than the last guy, not by much. So 20 extra damage per hit, getting me up to a respectable 90 damage per hit. But we can put away this garbage. And now I'm kind of scared to see what we get next. Now this is when you kind of get into bad territory. Which it looks like the next number will be... 22. Two more fucking twos? Fuck off, that number needs to just kill itself. Yorm's Great Machete. Ah, oh, give me the dagger. Give me the dagger again. <laughs> I don't really like Yorm's Great Machete. It's probably one of my least favorite of these big strength weapons. I guess I'll do some decent damage, but eh, I'd kind of rather go with something else in the strength category. I'd rather have Yorm's, or I'd rather have uh, Smo's Great Hammer, to be honest. Oh, and speak of strength, power. Not only is he full Havels, but he's a mage and he's got Juggernaut in his name. Apparently, we're back in Dark Souls 2 territory. But I guess he's not a mage. He probably just wants to use a little bit of his, uh... Okay, and uh, there he goes. Throw a knife at him. 17 damage. Now I have the upper hand. Is he just gonna run away? Is he just gonna do this? Okay. Sure. Sure. Oh, I'm surprised he uh, didn't swing more than three. Did that hit him? Oh, no. Of fucking course not. Oh, come on. I expected mine to have more fucking hyper armor. I guess he is a Havel monster. But still. Oh, now he's got the throwing knives. That was my thing. Should be death. Alright, DRG Juggernaut. We'll give him a nice wave goodbye. See ya. Wouldn't want to be, uh, 
to be honest, he's got Havels and he's got Moonlight Great Sword. I kind of do want to be him. Luckily, he actually stopped and hit me. If he would have just kept running away, running backwards, waving, dodging. And don't say that that doesn't happen because I've had that happen to me multiple times. Not even just once. It wasn't a one-time thing. Different people, multiple times. Mostly on the PS4. But that's when you kind of look at this game and you're like... I... I'm done with it. So luckily that didn't happen here. Nothing too bad for this episode. I mean, in terms of how long it took, we got terrible weapons. We went from god tier meta, at least former god tier meta with the S stock, to absolute garbage. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please be sure to drop a like on the video. It helps me out a bunch. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace, everybody.